Fans of Gotham, welcome back. Today we're focusing on Bane, a venom-pumping, mind-shattering force of nature who is one of the most recognizable and terrifying villains to have ever appeared in the Batman series. Bane is not your typical evil guy. He is literally the Bane of Batman's existence. He has strength that could match Mount Everest, and a mind as keen as the shards of a broken mirror. We're revealing the identity of the guy who shattered the bat in more ways than one, from his incredible strength exploits that will make you doubt your workout regimen, to the intricate details of his sinister history that would make Shakespeare envious. You think you know him? Well, try guessing all of the nine of his lesser-known superpowers we're going to be discussing today. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Bane's Superhuman Speed Without Venom Let's start by revving up the engines on Bane's blistering speed, all thanks to the potent venom toxin coursing through his veins. Imagine a cheetah on a caffeine high, and you're still not close to the sheer velocity Bane can unleash. His movements, as swift as a bolt of lightning, leave mere mortals in the dust, and we're just scratching the surface. Bane was first exposed to the strong serum venom while he was a prisoner in Santa Prisca, through a network of tubes that are directly attached to his brain. The medication is given to him. Bane's physical abilities are greatly enhanced by the effects of Venom, making him extraordinarily powerful and quick. His enhanced physical prowess makes him a strong opponent for Batman. However, Bane's connection to Venom doesn't define his entire character. In Batwoman comics, his metahuman-like super speed is talked highly of. During Batwoman's hunt for Bane, she is seen discussing how this man simply should not be underestimated, because even without Venom, he can run fast and break your bones. Venom is barely an enhancer of his abilities. This leads one to believe that his outstanding athletic ability is a result of both his extensive physical training and his innate genetic predisposition. These scenes highlight Bane's standing as a very competent and dangerous enemy, even without the aid of Venom, even though he may not be on the same level as Superman or Wonder Woman. Bane has eidetic memory. Bane's brain is more than simply a vault. It's a brilliant store of moments captured in time. His special recipe? A mental camera with HD filters and eidetic memory. Bane's mind can recall everything, down to the smallest details of a murder scene and the shade of Batman's socks. This gift didn't fully manifest its potential until he played a game of chase with Batman. Imagine Bane's memory as a detective's magnifying glass, zooming in on Gotham's puzzle pieces. Those Wayne-shaped disappearances in the Bat's timely appearances? He observes Batman's face and remembers Bruce's. Somehow, he easily figures out the similarities between these two. Bane's brain puts all the information under a spotlight, and within a year, he figures out that the Bat and the Billionaire are indeed the same. Bane's eidetic memory isn't just a mental marvel, it is the key that unlocked Gotham's greatest riddle. Bane's memory doesn't just help him with deduction, it makes him retain the various abilities, disciplines, and knowledge that he has acquired throughout the years. He is smart and evil. Bane is also a master of meditation. Bane isn't just about brawn. He's got a brain that's flexing in all the right ways. And when it comes to the Zen game of meditation, he's not just a player, he's the Grand Master. Imagine him finding his inner peace while plotting world domination. In the comics, Bane's meditation skills are often highlighted, offering a glimpse into his multifaceted nature. It's not just about finding peace, it's about fine-tuning his mental arsenal. In Bane Conquest number 10, he's depicted meditating, even in the midst of battles and chaos. This isn't just downtime. It's a strategic advantage. Whether it's in Batman The Dark Knight number 4 or Batman Vengeance of Bane number 1, his meditative moments reveal a unique facet of his personality. His clarity gives him insights that others might miss. It's like he's transcending the battlefield, seeing it from a vantage point others can't reach. So when you think of Bane, don't just think muscles. Think of his big, beautiful brain too. Bane happens to have extraordinary knowledge of many subjects and a genius level of intellect. Bane isn't just a juggernaut of muscle, he's a walking encyclopedia with a twist of supervillain charm. His extraordinary knowledge of numerous subjects isn't just a hidden gem, it's a testament to his multifaceted brilliance. Bane is portrayed as a polyglot, proficient in multiple languages. His linguistic skills extend beyond his native Spanish, enabling him to navigate global communication effortlessly. Bane's intellectual acumen extends to scientific and medical fields. He showcases 
showcases an understanding of complex scientific principles, including genetics, chemistry, and anatomy. This knowledge contributes to his creation of the Venom formula and his strategic manipulation of it. He's not just a science guy, by the way. His familiarity with literature, including classical works and even Shakespearean texts, underscores his intellectual depth. His historical knowledge allows him to draw parallels and insights that others might miss. Whether he's quoting Sun Tzu or deciphering ancient texts, Bane's extraordinary knowledge adds layers to his character. But wait, he's not just book smart. His ability to outwit opponents both intellectually and physically demonstrates his tactical genius. His capacity to organize and carry out intricate operations is demonstrated by his strategic insights, which make him a deadly opponent. On top of that, he is a master gaslighter. His understanding of human psychology and philosophy grants him an edge in manipulation and decision making. His insights into the human mind contribute to his ability to exploit weaknesses in his opponents. Bane's extensive knowledge of martial arts and combat techniques complements his physical skills. His ability to anticipate opponents' moves and adapt his fighting style showcases his expertise in this domain. Seriously, is there anything this man can't do? He can probably fix your computer too. Who knows? Bane is highly skilled in escaping from any prison. Bane is the Houdini of the supervillain world. His mastery of escapology isn't just a footnote, it's his uncanny ability to slip out of any restraint. In the comics, Bane's escapology skills are showcased in thrilling fashion. Take Batman Vengeance of Bane number 1, where he escapes from the seemingly inescapable prison of Peña Duro, Santa Prisca. It's not just about breaking out, it's about bending reality to his will, proving that no trap can hold him for long. But Bane's escapology isn't just about physical prowess, it's a reflection of his strategic genius. In Batman Nightfall, he engineers a grand jailbreak at Arkham Asylum, unleashing chaos upon Gotham. Whether it's slipping out of handcuffs or eluding the clutches of Batman, Bane's escapology showcases his intellect and resourcefulness. Bane doesn't just escape physical traps, he breaks through psychological barriers, defying limitations and expectations. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. When he's out, he doesn't just revel in his newfound freedom. Bane is more than just a selfish villain. In various comic book adaptations, he's shown helping other prisoners escape, providing them a chance at redemption or a fresh start. It's a testament to his twisted sense of honor and his desire to defy society's norms. In certain versions of the storyline, he goes on to offer sanctuary to the escapees forming a makeshift alliance that's as mystifying as it is unsettling. Bane's jailbreaks aren't just about chaos, they're about redefining the boundaries of villainy. His ability to both engineer escapes and provide refuge for others creates a multifaceted character who defies easy categorization. Bane's body is immune to Joker Venom. Bane's resistance to Joker Venom is an amazing abnormality that illustrates his extraordinary strength and determination. Bane stands out as an anomaly in the Asylum of Gotham's Criminals, a paradox of immunity in a place where chaos wins. One of the most prominent instances highlighting Bane's immunity to Joker Venom occurred during the Batman No Man's Land storyline. In this sprawling narrative, Gotham City is in ruins after a massive earthquake, and various factions vie for control over its fragmented territories. The Joker, as expected, doesn't miss the chance to escalate the chaos. During this chaotic period, Joker Joker unleashes his infamous venom upon the city's inhabitants. The venom's potency turns ordinary citizens into maniacal laughing puppets under the Joker's morbid puppetry. However, when it comes to Bane, the venom's laughter-inducing effects fail to take hold. The fact that Bane is immune to the Joker's poison is not simply a coincidence. It is evidence of his unwavering mental and emotional strength. This resiliency is nothing new. It's a product of the same unflinching discipline that let him get through his challenging childhood, plan out intricate schemes, and even manage to avoid becoming dependent on Venom, the performance-enhancing drug that previously gave him energy. This particular incident adds an intriguing layer to Bane's complex relationship with the Joker. While the clown prince of crime revels in the chaos and unpredictability his Venom induces, Bane stands as an exception, a figure who defies the Joker's expectations. It's a clash of ideologies and a psychological battle between two titanic figures. Bane's immunity isn't just about evading a physical threat, it's about preserving his psychological sovereignty. In a city where where sanity hangs by a thread, Bane remains unshaken. Please give your dear Barbara a kiss from me.
Bane can overcome his addiction to Venom Drug. The goal of Bane's mission is to destroy his own demons, not only break bones. His story of personal accomplishment in overcoming drug addiction to Venom mirrors his steely tenacity. Imagine a guy whose veins once beat with Venom's power, but who now serves as a symbol of human resolve. That is absolutely crazy. Bane's battle against his own cravings is a psychological wrestling match that showcases his extraordinary inner strength. In Batman Vengeance of Bane No. 2, Bane faces the challenging position of escaping Venom's control. This is a test of his mental strength as much as it is a physical detox. He fights with Drawl's claws with the same tenacity he once used to dominate rivals. Bane's victory isn't just a mere plot point, it's a profound exploration of his character. His ability to not only conquer his physical addiction, but also reshape his identity showcases his complex psyche. He transforms from a slave to a sovereign, from a vessel of power to a wielder of his own destiny. So when you think of Bane, remember that he's not just a brute, he's a phoenix that rose from his own ashes. I can still crush Bane up. even has healing ability. Bane is more than simply a thug. He's a healing wonder who gives his weapons a magical twist. He is a strong force in the world of comic books thanks to his capacity to bounce back from injuries, which is more than just a minor detail. This healing ability, stemming from his intake of the Venom drug, grants him remarkable recuperative power. In Batman Vengeance of Bane No. 1, Bane is injected with Venom, and his body undergoes a transformation that goes beyond mere strength. His body becomes a fortress against injury, mending itself at a supernatural rate. Bane's healing prowess isn't just a convenient plot point, it's a defining aspect of his character. It's this ability that allows him to endure punishing battles, shrug off wounds that would cripple others, and emerge from the ashes of defeat. When Bane administers Venom, it's like he's tapping into a wellspring of vitality. The drug courses through his veins, not only gifting him with Herculean power, but also triggering a rapid healing process. In moments of battle, where injuries would weaken lesser men, Bane's body mends itself with a supernatural speed. So, when you envision Bane, don't just picture a hawking figure. Picture a regenerating titan, a force of nature that bends but never breaks. He is more than simply a bad guy. He's a living example of resilience and strength, the extraordinary in an ordinary world. I'm pleased you remember me, Mr. Wayne. Bane is a superb strategist and tactician. Bane is more than simply strength. He is a supremely intelligent strategist and tactical genius who masterfully directs mayhem. His strategic wisdom propels him to the top tiers of supervillainy. In Batman Nightfall, Bane demonstrates his tactical skill by carrying off a precisely planned prison break at Arkham Asylum. This is a planned performance of deception and confusion, not merely a smash and grab operation. Bane uses his opponents as pawns in a game of chess, resulting in an uproar that resonates across Gotham. But let's Let's explore further. Bane's strategic brilliance is shown in Batman, The Man Who Broke the Bat, when it becomes a work of literary wonder. He creates a strategy that extends beyond using force after carefully examining Batman's strategies, weaknesses, and friends. He analyzes every aspect of his opponent's existence like a surgeon of strategy. Bane's tactical mastery extends beyond only winning fights and includes psychological manipulation. His management of the Secret Six demonstrates his capacity to forge alliances, push individuals against one another, and use turmoil for his own ends. It's a psychedelic waltz that demonstrates his range of abilities. He's a villain that employs knowledge as part of his arsenal, rather than simply brute force. Bane's strategies are constructed like a complex jigsaw, with each step planned to further his goals. No wonder he is considered one of the greatest villains of all time. Bane isn't your typical bad guy. Instead, he's a conundrum with plenty of power that keeps Gotham on its toes. He is a living manual of intellect and brawn, stretching both his muscles and his mind. Bane is more than just a threat. He's a force to be reckoned with, boasting a body that could make a mountain envious, and a mind as sharp as a batarang. He is a living contradiction who gives the world of supervillains a zesty edge. Whether he is shattering spines or shattering psychological barriers, Bane's skill and ruthlessness could make him the Joker's greatest nightmare, and Batman's most fearsome antagonist in a city where chaos is the norm. With this, we have come to an end on this segment. Let us know in the comments below if you think that there's any Batman villain superior to Bane. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks everyone! <laughs> Oh, your money! Uh.